biggest difference you've seen from the western side of the world to other parts of the world? Well, I was born in the east in Sri Lanka and I can talk about uh, my upbringing in Sri Lanka and in, in England. Mm -hmm. Okay. I find one of the biggest problems uh, in the west is that uh, they are not tactile. They don't like to touch. Touch is prohibited. Whereas in the east, touch is a natural thing. Yeah. We all touch each other, men and men, women and women, and hug, we love. Uh, children sleep with their parents until they are about teenagers really, you know, in a non-sexual way. Mm. So the touch, scientifically it has been proved uh, how important the touch is, not just for humans but for animals and everybody. Touch is healing, touch is nourishment, touch is food, just like breathing air. Without touch, you miss something in your life. And the Western society, I find, they miss this, especially the UK, United States, some of these highly developed countries, they have lost the connection, the touch, the bond. And then they suffer a lot when they die. They don't know how to love their partner. They don't know how to be intimate, you see. And touch brings everything. And then every treatment that we have to help people who have been they say, you're not supposed to touch. <laughs> if you touch, it will, will, will ban you from your place. So we are living in a non-tactile society which creates a lot of problems. With touching, we share our energy, but sometimes we can feel the negative energy from other people. Depends on how you have been touched in the past. In the West, because of the touch is prohibited, because the touch is not acceptable, then people suppress their touch. This suppression creates perversion. Then what you do is you touch them incorrectly. When children are touched inappropriately as children, when you grow up, if somebody touches you, it evokes the child, you feel uncomfortable with that touch. So therefore, you do not like touch. So it goes through a vicious cycle that has started many years ago in the West. Maybe because it's cold, people slept in small places, small homes, uh, didn't have space, everybody lived, children, father, everybody, they get drunk and he did touch the child and the child carried on repeating this. Maybe this, because in the east, if doors are open, windows are open, even in the night, everything is open, we are much more in an open place. This could be the reason. And also, the sun is also very important. Mm -hmm. The sun repairs our body. Okay, because if you see the, the chakra colors are rainbow colors. Sun has got the seven rainbow colors. And these seven frequencies can re resonate our chakras and balance. So just staying in the sunny country can repair our body. So you know that <laughs> we have a big problem. <laughs> <laughs>